Hello Beret Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Heels and girl, I have some new tea um, that I think I have never spilled here before because I have I I haven't like I didn't watch the show at the beginning so I didn't even know about any of these people but now I'm on it now I watch now I am of course you know obsessed and it's all about summer house well summer house winter house like all of that mess girl I mean I have to tell you I remember I tried to watch summer house a long time ago and I, I they didn't really connect with them, especially because I didn't like the way that they treated, uh, you know, the people from Vanderpump Rules on season one. And I was like, oh, these people are so annoying, you know. And also, like, you know, like, I don't like people to be, like, too, like, they think that they're better than everyone else. And I think on their first season, they were a little bit like that. So... I stopped watching. I never even wa finished the first season. And now, years later, especially with the coming of Winter House and how they mix it with Southern Charm and now Vanderpump Rules, I was like, bitch, I need to get into this. You know, I need to get into this because I have watched every single other show, you know. And also, like, the same situation happened with Shasta of Sunset, you know. I also didn't want to give it uh, an opportunity. I watched like the first episode and literally years later, I decided to watch it and then I became obsessed, right? So I was like, maybe I should give, you know, you know, a chance to, to Summer House and see how they evolve and how, you know, who are these people? Well, girl, that literally did the trick, okay? Because now I'm obsessed. Now I know a little bit of everything and then everyone. I'm still watching, you know, but now I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, far enough to kind of understand what is going, what is going on and who is who, you know? And like, I understand some of the personalities of these people and now I have an opinion on them, you know? That's what I'm trying to say. And I think now it's official that I can actually give you tea about Summer House or Winter House. Well, actually for Summer House, I'm still trying to like uh, get caught on, on Winter House. It's just like, girl, like the time that I need, I don't have it. But I'm, I'm there, you know, I'm there. I'm going through the motion, so don't worry. So uh, bear with me on Winter House. Now, let's talk about Summer House because... Amanda was with Paige on Watch What Happens Live, and she did a comment about Lindsay, and girl, Lindsay, like, literally just got, like, activated. Like, I mean, you know Lindsay by now, okay? You know that she is, how you say that in English? Like, she gets, like, she could get from zero to 100 in, like, a second, you know? So you know that she was going to respond. You know that you cannot say anything bad about Lindsay because, girl, you know, like, she will go at it. She will go hard at it. But on this one, I kind am of, like, Lindsay's uh, side, you know? Like, I don't know a lot of these people outside of Bravo, um, but I have talked to people who, you know, have been close to them. I have talked to people who, you know, have seen them in person. So on this one, I'm gonna be on Lindsay's side and I'm gonna tell you why. So, Amanda and Paige were playing this game on Watch What Happens Live, right? And Andy asked them, uh, like, who was the rudest person to the fans? Oh shit, sorry guys. To the fans, to which uh, Amanda, like, basically not even thinking about it uh decided to say that it was Lindsay the Lindsay was very rude to the fans I mean she said that she was rude to the fans when they were like promoting Lover Boy like at BravoCon like the whole thing you know and I was quite like surprised by this by this answer look I think that Lindsay's personality is a strong personality, but I don't see her as being, like, mean. You know what I mean? And Amanda is kind of, like, portraying her, like, making her seem like she is, like, mean, you know? Like, 
or, or like you will walk by and say like, hey, can I take a picture? And she will be like, ugh, who are you, bitch? Why are you talking to me? You know what I mean? And I don't feel that that, and from what I hear, because I don't know her personally, but from what I hear from people who know her personally, um, she's nothing like that. So of course, well, like I said, Lindsay got activated, you know, and she went on a rampage on Instagram, you know, try to like go after uh, this comment. So let's see. The first one says, I want to be very clear. I don't work for lover boy yet show up to support my friends over 30 times in 2021 out of love for Carl and out of support for my friends. Why would I do that if I didn't like the fans or if I was rude? Why would I volunteer to be at more events that I needed to? Think about that one. Then she started like showing all the pictures of all the times that she has been supporting Loverboy, you know, she put a picture in October on Philadelphia. Then she posted another picture on December, a picture with Kyle, Amanda, Carl, and her. Another picture says, even make sure to promote their company so they feel supported by their friends. And a picture with her with a lover boy, with a can of lover boy. And another one says on February and I'm on a Denver meet and greet. And another one, she says, wound up being three days, seven total events of fans events for Carl. I went to support because we had to start dating. When well, no, I'm sorry, we had just started dating and I wanted to support, but also because I support my friends and their company. And another one says, um, here, here's us in Pittsburgh in March at a lover boy, lover boy meet and greet where I am voluntarily rude to fans. And another one says, oh, a different event the next day in Pitt also for lover boy where I am showing up to purposely be rude to fans. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I love, I love, uh, Lindsay. And another one, she says, Cleveland in the house, me being rude to a fan here. And another one, she says, Chicago, I was the rudest to my fans, made out with them even. And then at the end, she posts a picture and says, I am so fucking tired of people dragging my name through the mud when I am nothing but nice to them. Show them kindness, respect, and support. Clean up your side of the street because mine is doing just fine. Well, what can we say? What can we say? You know, now I think, look, for example, when I see a celebrity on the streets, you know, I never, I, I, I have to tell you guys, I have almost never asked for a picture of them. Because I feel that they are on their own personal space, you know, like if they're eating, if they're in a restaurant, if they're like shopping, whatever, you know, me, myself, I feel very like awkward being like, hey, you know, like, hey, I love you. Like, and you know, and some people are crazy, you know, some people are like jumping on them and touching them, you know, and, and wanting them to like marry them or whatever. So like if you're in a restaurant eating, I think it is okay for a person to say like, hey, I'm a little bit busy right now. Uh, I'm so sorry, I cannot take a picture or something like that. And I don't think that's rude. Like I said, rude to me will be if it was be like, bitch, who are you? Like, why are you talking to me? Like, shut the fuck up or something like that, right? Um, I don't know exactly what Amanda was trying to say with this comment, especially as we see with when Lindsay has been very supportive of their brand. So why is she like trying to take these shots? I have no idea. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.